Brian. I am going to show you the alternate steps of finding your own file. Um, in the lesson guidelines and the instructions for the vehicle wrap project, I have instructed how to get the file for <coughs> these vehicle uh, wrap templates that I show and basically there's a uh, 10 items in there that you can choose from uh, they're already set up ready to go uh, but maybe you have your own vehicle that you want to design a wrap for um, in that case I've decided to put together this video so that you can go ahead and do that on your own so the first thing you'll do is open up Illustrator and I already have mine open so now that Illustrator is open, we have somewhere to put the file. Uh, first, we need to go get one. So let's go over to Chrome. Uh, you can use whatever browser you're more familiar with or, or comfortable with. Um, and then we need to find a vehicle. So let's use, for example, a, um, let's see, a Dodge Ram 2500 truck. So basically you just search, uh, go to images, and that gets some good images, but let's do blueprints. And the reason we do a blueprint is because, as you can see, it gives us front and back, side, and top view. So um, let's see. Let's look at this one here. That's pretty good. Um, now you can either use uh, straight from Google here or you can find another website or maybe you have uh, a drawing or you know something that looks really good for the vehicle that you want to design. Um, that's one way to do it. Pull it out of uh, Google Images. Again, we are not going to be breaking copyright because we are going to be using it as a background to trace and design our own vehicle on top of that. Um, we're not selling this. We're just learning what, we're, uh, what we need to do for uh, creating a vehicle wrap. So I'm just going to show you how to get the file into Illustrator. Uh, first thing you want to notice is the file size and I have in my my Google uh, images I have the uh, the tools somewhere in my settings I think it is anyway I show the uh, the file size and you can see that right there uh, the dimensions of the file so let's click on a file and then make sure we're at view image so we see the full resolution uh, version of the file and then we simply right click and save image as and then notice where it is on the desktop or your computer wherever you put it um, or you can simply go to copy image and copy image is probably the easiest way to do that and then we'll go over into Illustrator and we will create a new file and paste that image in there and as you can see it's bigger than that file so no problem just open our artboard uh, tool and that is shift O and drag the shape of the artboard so it fits around that that shape of the vehicle all right, so that's done. We can exit out of the artboard tool. And that was just hitting escape. Now we need to create, uh, set up this blueprint layer so that we have the top view, the side view. We're gonna have to create the other side view, the opposite side, um, and then the front view and the rear view. And we'll have those separate or as separate images and put them on the page so they fit a little better and we don't have all of this extra you know stuff that's part of the image that's going to distract us from our our work here so the easiest way to do that first what we'll do is we will click anywhere off the artboard to deselect 
and then we will get the rectangle tool which is right there on the toolbar or you can find it by clicking M on your keyboard. Let's also make sure our default colors are selected and you can do that down here on the toolbar or hitting D and that will give us a white fill with a black stroke and then we're going to do something that's kind of tricky and um, I'll, I'll show you it step by step. Okay, first what we're going to do is create a rectangular box. around the view of, for example, this top view. And you can't see it anymore, it's behind the box, and that's just fine. All right, now we will switch to the selection tool, which is up here, I did not mean to hit that. Uh, just a single click, and or you can hit the V on your keyboard to bring that up. And while this rectangle is selected, you wanna hold down Shift and you'll see that'll change to the toggle selection. So we will add the graphic here to the selection, and then we will go to Object, and down to Clipping Mask, and hit Make. Or you could do Control-7 on a PC, Command-7 on a Mac. All right, so there it is. And basically a clipping mask means there's this object and it's a container. It's this vector object, which is the rectangle we did. And it's a container and inside the container is the uh, whatever was behind that. And you can see it's this graphic of uh, the truck from the top view. So we'll keep that out of the way. And next we will paste, which is control V or Command V on a Mac. Our graphic that we had with the four views. And so then we can pull back with the mark or the rectangle tool with M and we can drag a selection around the next view and this one is going to be the side view. And you can see that it covered up that view that we were, you know, selecting around. So then I go again go to V and then again hold down shift and click on that graphic in the background and then again 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 I'm saying again a lot aren't I? Then again we will do a clipping mask which was control 7 on a PC command 7 on a Mac and now we have the side view. So um, let's work on the front and back views. And let's paste the graphic in. Back to the rectangle tool. Select around that image. Back to the selection tool. Hold down shift. Control 7 or Command-7, and then we have the front view, uh, Control-V to paste the graphic again, back to the rectangle tool by hitting M. That actually needs to be just a little bit bigger. Okay, hit the V to get the selection tool, hold down Shift, click on that background image, and control 7 or command 7. All right, so now we have these four. And if you recall from the instructions that I gave for the uh, project, we need to have the driver's side and passenger side if they are available. Um, in this case, they aren't, so we're just going to make a copy. And how we will do that is we have this front or this this driver's side view uh, selected and we'll go to the uh, down on the rotate tool down to the reflect tool and that is O the shortcut key of O so you could hit O and that's O not zero and then we'll double click that to bring up the uh, instructions panel 
and we'll make sure that preview is checked so we can see the original was going this way and as we hit preview we can see that the we're flipping across the vertical axis so it's going to flip this way and then we are going to instead of hitting OK we're going to hit copy and that will create a copy of it on top of the one we had previously let's go to the selection tool by hitting V and drag that up out of the way and now we have both of those and we can add or we can have all of these five views to do our wrap design on all right so the next thing we need to do is to uh, deselect all of them let's go back into the artboard tool shift o and make this artboard a little bit bigger so that it can fit all of these uh, views on it and then we'll simply escape out of that and we have our layer our, our blueprint layer uh, let's center this view within the window and to do that we will hold down control 0 on a PC command 0 on a Mac all right so over here and you can see I had the layers panel open if you don't have your layers panel open you can go up to here to the window and then down to layers or you can hit F7 on your keyboard and that will bring up the layers panel so while we have this layer selected what we're going to do is double click over here on the layer not on the name if you double click on the name it will allow you to change the name we want to do more than that so let's double click on the layer without just the name okay so we will change the name but again I said we want to do more than that excuse my spelling here all right blueprint is what we want to call this layer and then down here we want to check the box next to template that will turn this into a template which will lock it show the view and give us a preview and then we will also dim the the checkbox next to dim images to 50 percent we will uncheck that so that we can still see it at full uh, res or a full transparency uh, we do not want the transparency knocked down at all so that we can see all the details in our blueprint graphic and then we can just hit OK. As you can see, we cannot draw on this layer. It has a, an icon showing a, a pencil that with a little no symbol next to it. So that just means we can't draw on that art or draw artwork on that layer. Now we'll go down to the Create New Layer button and we'll click that once to click uh, get a new layer this time we don't need to enter all of the options simply double click on the name and we'll change this to design and then one more and we've got an, another new layer we'll double click that and call that outline and granted you could do whatever you want if you are not taking the class uh, this is just an easy way to organize all of these uh, the elements that we're going to use in the artwork as we create the uh, vehicle wrap design um, and it's for the class that I'm teaching uh, presently so that's why I'm doing it this way um, now uh, you can see that it's still untitled we haven't saved it yet and instead of uh, leaving it this way I would like you to save your file somewhere so that you have a copy of it and you can back that up somehow uh, or, or use it if you if you end up um, destroying your your artwork as you're working on your wrap or whatever you need just so you have another copy of it so for that it's control s on a PC command s on a Mac and I'm going to click apparently I've already saved this at one time I'm going to override it because I know that I did it better this time than I did last time so that's what I'm going to do and it's just the name of the of the vehicle dot AI and I can work with it from there so I will show the instructions of how to create this uh, create the wrap from this blueprint 
in the next video. And uh, this again was for those who wanted to create a wrap of their own vehicle or um, a vehicle of their choice rather than the 10 that I provided in the, uh, the download files. All right, thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.